that yeah record me very very well record exactly. me we are going fine. to give them with time to start poisoning the yoruba and the benin put poison for all una food for work put poison for una water make una de buy one by one una go no no go buy one day una go sick 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 i go put a tap pia pia for inside una water inside una food no no go see better this guy hates when I get for Una, so it will last forever, forever. For so finally, guys, this woman has been arrested. Remember, this woman came out on her social media platform, to be precise, on TikTok, threatening to eliminate certain tribes in Nigeria, which are the Yoruba people and the Bini people. And, you know, she was so bold on her TikTok because she was saying, record the video, nothing will happen to me, I cannot be deported. So I'm so happy that the police operatives in Toronto, Canada have finally arrested the woman. Her name is Amaka Sumbaria and you know she was not afraid but I hope now she can realize that there are laws that um, you know are set there in Toronto or in Canada and everywhere and you can just go online threatening people and talking anyhow. So the police in a statement revealed she was arrested on Sunday which is yesterday 1st of September and will be charged in court today and the, this is what the statement the police statement reads she has been arrested with uttering threats and is scheduled to appear at the Toronto on, at the Ontario Court of Justice 2201 Finch Avenue West on Monday, September 2nd, 2024 at 10 a.m. in courtroom 107. This investigation is being treated as a suspected hate-motivated offense. So the Daily Post records that Harry Marx sparkled nationwide an outrage promoting the Nigerian House of Representatives to request for her prosecution so you guys remember that the nigerian lawmakers had actually written to the canadian government to prosecute amaka sumbaria for inciting violence and genocide against the yoruba and the benin people so and remember also the chairman of nigerians in diaspora whose name is Abike, he had also earlier written a petition to the Honorable Patrick Brown, the mayor of Brampton, Canada, regarding the same case. So you guys, I am so excited that finally the Canadian police have arrested her and she's going to appear at the court and let's see what happens. Let's see all this, uh, you know, bragging. She was bragging on social media saying, Oh, she cannot be deported. Deportation is not your problem. In fact, there are bigger problems than being deported. You, you know, once you land in prison, you serve in prison and you are out, you become a nobody. And it's going to take a long, long, long time before you are, you know, your status is clean out there. Anyway, guys, let's see what happens. I'm going to be looking out for more news on what happened and what is the decision of the court and so forth. Thank you so much for watching and I see you in my next video. Bye for now.